for me, drawing abstractly is just simply creating a way to simplify and get to the kind of essence of my internal visual language. And, and so drawing is a really quick and easy way to get ideas out. For Eric Katzman, art has been a lifeline since he was a boy growing up in Kansas. My mother's father was also a painter, and I would watch Bob Ross uh, with him on TV growing up uh, and watch him paint, uh, and my mom too. But the other thing is my, my parents were kind of non-materialists, except they collected prints and art books. I've always had a very strong studio practice, a disciplined studio practice, and it's not one of those things I feel obligated to do. It's one of those things I really need to do. So, so I think it, it helps me with mental health, it helps me with creativity, it helps me with insight. There's so many things that I've learned that are reflective of what I do in my art. But many people know Dr. Eric Katzman as the one with a toothbrush and not a paintbrush in his hand. We talk about people's smiles and we talk about beauty and aesthetics, um, but a lot of people look at it more of um, a, a, a functional side and more the scientific side. During dental school, um, like when you make crowns, uh, those caps that you put on teeth, you have to make them out of wax uh, and then cast them in gold. And so a lot of the jewelry making, a lot of the skill sets I had learned in art school were, were coming forward after the basic science had, had been understood and integrated. And so that was really exciting for me that I didn't understand as much uh, how artistic it was and how creative it is. The Dover dentist has worn many hats over the years. He was in the Air Force, worked at a blue chip art gallery, and even helped to sequence a West Nile genome before opening up his dental practice in Dover. And now Dr. Katzman and his wife Julie have a new endeavor. They've opened up a gallery right next door to the dental practice. I always knew I wanted to have a non-traditional gallery, or really a project space, which is a little bit different. A project space is a space where you can take a lot of chances and you're not driven by the economy. You're driven in the realm of ideas. Um, so there has to be a lot of privilege behind that. You need to have cheap rent and you need to keep costs down. Um, and having a project space, uh, the typical gallery cut uh, in today's economy is about 50 to 40 percent. With a project space, um, uh, we take 10 to 20 percent commission and then we also can take more chances. We can elevate newer artists, unknown artists, um, lesser known artists, uh, really anyone, and create challenging shows, uh, interesting ideas, and not be beholden to a paycheck at the end of the month that's going to tell us whether or not we can open. With two shows under their belts and already 44 artists who have displayed their work on the walls, Eric and his wife Julie say their vision is coming true. The most rewarding is building community. And so that is so fundamental to dialogue. And that is really what art is about, and this is controversial, I know a lot of people say, no it's not. But, but the issue is, is if it weren't, then you would just keep your stuff at home. So when you, you create something and you put it out into the world, that's creating uh, an opening for dialogue. Opening a gallery during COVID had its hurdles, but also proved to be a prime time for people looking to connect with arts and their creative sides. In all this tangle of negativity and positivity, I think um, despite all the heartache and the death and the difficulty and loss, there's been a societal transformation. Uh, so in some ways it was the best of times to say, look, um, it's now or never, so we might as well. In fact, it was a personal tragedy a few years ago that helped Eric along his artist path. 2016, my house burnt down. So uh, I lost 99% of the art in there, all the art I had been doing for the past couple decades. My printing press survived, which was great, but uh, I lost most of my possessions, my clothing, 
um, my grandfather's paintings, my, um, yeah, just everything. That was a big moment in, in, in my art and in my life, just uh, letting go of the past, uh, letting go of the things that tie you down, the things that prop you up, the things that make you identify with who you are. At that point, um, it really became obvious that I wanted to get my work out there, that uh, I felt like I didn't want all my stuff to go up in smoke. Artfully crafting smiles during the day, working on his own abstract and figurative work at night, and lifting up other local artists along the way. There is no doubt that Eric Katzman has found a way to scratch his artistic itch. What we see is uh, an ability to be able to lift up uh, artists that may not have the means to show or to be recognized. So by not holding a stable, we're able to show a lot of different artists. We're also allowing them to uh, take chances with their own work and say it could be far out and whether you sell or not isn't going to be the point. It's if is it going to provoke an action? Is it going to provoke a thought? Is it going to add to a current dialogue?